Second dive was incredible. Yeah! But take a whiff. Ooh, what's that smell? <laughs> hey, yo! That is stinky. Where, where are they? Where's what, Chris? Your sneakers. They're stinkier than ever. This smell's not coming from my sneakers. Besides, they smell just fine. But that smell. We know what the smell is, but let's see if Zabu knows what creature made that stink. Zabu! Hey, Zabu! Zabu, Zabu The lemur has landed. Hey, Zabu, come on. There's some leaves over here you won't want to miss. Hey! But you would have found these leaves anyway, because lemurs have a great sense of smell. All right. What snack smells really good? I know. Yeah. I have a sweet smelling snack for you, buddy. Zabu, how about some kiwi fruit? Zabu loves kiwi. There you go. Hey, kiwi, that's a good fruit. <laughs> I'm Fuki. I eat kiwi. Smells great. <laughs> Chris, Martin, why your hands have touched your noses? Are you picking them? <laughs> no, we're not picking them. We're holding our noses. That stinks, Zob. <laughs> Can you smell it? Oh, yeah. Big smell. On my way here, I saw an animal in the forest. There was the same smell then. The same smell. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had a furry body and a sniffy nose. And everybody was sniffing him because this creature was stinky. P U. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. His tail was black and white, and his legs were stubby. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A black and white furry stinker. Do you know who he is? All right, we have this one figured out. A black furry body, big white stripe, walks like this. Woo-wee! That's a skunk, all right. A skunk. Hey, come on down and have a close look at this amazing creature. <laughs> Yo, Manga Stinka, Mystery Animals here. Oh, a skunk. I can't believe my mind. That's who made the smell, a skunk. Wow, what a big smell from a little creature. Are you sure Skunk made such a big stink? You better believe it, Sob. <laughs> Once you've smelled that smell, you'll never forget that a skunk made. Yeah, and a skunk always smells like this. And she smells even stronger when she's scared. That's why you have to be extra careful around skunks. Number one rule, never scare a skunk. Yeah, because a skunk has a built-in defense system that'll blow your nose off. Well, who would scare such a mungatsika little animal? Well, Zob, the only creature who would scare a skunk is a creature who hasn't learned about stinky skunk spray or is too hungry to care. 
That's right, one time we saw a cougar heading towards the skunk. The skunk was a little nervous about it, but the cougar didn't get too close. He had a full belly, and he knew rule number one. Never scare a skunk. So he left the skunk alone? Yup, he turned around and went away. And the skunk went on his way too. What if they don't know that big rule, huh? Well, the last thing a skunk wants to do is spray, so she'll give a lot of warnings before she actually does it. If a skunk is thinking about spraying, she gives warning number one, foot stomping. If that doesn't work, she moves over to warning sign number two, the handstand. A handstand? Really? Yeah! Ah! Oof. If that doesn't work, she sprays. <laughs> that usually works. <gasps> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> no, don't scare the skunk, whatever you do. She smells bad enough now, even without spraying. Oh. When a skunk sprays, she can spray her skunk stink 16 feet. That's this far. Whoa, that's far. Hmm, you're a far sprayer, skunk. Oh, P.O. Oh, yeah, yeah, P.O. He's a stinky one. Oh, ah. I'm gonna call her Stinker. Yeah, Stinker the Skunk. I like that name. Stinker, 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 Stinker. Guys, how come the smell was here before the skunk arrived? Good question, Zob. And the smell is so strong for one skunk. Something's going on here. Yeah, how did the smell get here before the skunk? Maybe there's other stinkers here. Like a dwarf lemur. Dwarf lemurs don't smell like skunk smell, but they're the stinkiest lemurs in Madagascar. But I don't see any dwarf lemurs or any other stinky creatures here, so what could it be? The only stinky creature I can see is Stinker, and I can't believe my mind how stinky she is. Well, a skunk is one of the smelliest creatures in the world, and fortunately, she's not scared, for now anyway. Well, I'm not gonna scare the skunk, no way. I know the number one rule. Never scare a skunk. Let's give our skunky friend a snack. Whoa! Maybe that'll help us figure out what the other stink is. Let's see, mongoose. Horse. Oh, skunk. Hey, Chris. <laughs> hey, Chris, leave some for a skunk. <laughs> or if they're goobleberries, count me in. Oh, boy, we're skunking these blueberries down. <laughs> So's the skunk. That skunk has big claws for such a little animal. I know, a skunk needs big claws for digging and burrowing. And for catching food like insects, crayfish, and frogs. Well, he sure loves those blueberries. Who doesn't? Look, a fox. Does fox know the number one rule? Well, it usually takes an animal only one skunk spray to learn not to mess with the skunk. Huh. Let me go see. <laughs> Uh-oh, fox better watch it or he'll get sprayed. drink of water. Everything's okay, Stinker. I guess Fox knows the number one rule. He's not gonna scare our skunk friend. Bye, Fox. Now Stinker doesn't have to send Fox away with her smell. You got it, Zob. Animal smells are like a language. Different kind of smells mean different things. Watch this. <laughs> this is a come and get it kind of smell. That's a go away kind of smell. Oh boy, that's bad. Go away and come and get it smells. This reminds me of one time in Zabu land. I was leap leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I bumped into Sensei. 
Oof. Oh, oh, I sense it. Hi, Zabu. I'm following a smell. What kind of a smell? Oh, a come and get it kind of smell. You know, a good smell. <laughs> well, sense it. You do have the best sniffing nose in Zabu land. Oh, I do, I do. <laughs> well, maybe Snow Lemur knows about the smell too. Oh, hello there. No! no, don't sneak up on a guy like that. Oh, oh. Uh, sorry, sense it. Uh, I, I lost my ice fruit cake, and uh, it has a come and get it kind of smell, but. Uh, my nose is stuffed up, so I, I can't smell it, and that's why I can't find it. Yeah, yeah I can't find it. Hey, huh? hey, I think I smell it now. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh Zabu yeah. smells it too. Yeah, I'll follow my nose and get the ice fruit cake. Oh, so that's oh, what I did. We were all so happy that the ice fruit cake, with the come and get it smell, was found. We danced on it before we ate it. The end. <laughs> Skunks make a go away smell. Not a come and get it smell. You got it, Zob. And skunks aren't the only animals to use smell to send a message. A leopard will scent more, which means spraying his smell, to tell other creatures, hey, back off, this is my place. It's kind of like writing your name on something, but with smells instead of letters. Hey, you know what? I scent mark too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> smells good, Zob. Oh, thanks. You know what? I'm going to make my own crisp smell so I can scent mark things too. <laughs> oh no, another Chris invention. Oh, be you, that's worse than a skunk. <coughs> oh, oh, be you. What do you think, Zob? <gasps> oh yeah, that's a big Chris smell, all right. <gasps> Zob, you okay? <sighs> oh yeah, I just, just need some air. <laughs> Air. Time to scent mark my things. Okay, I'll see a few drops on the kayak. Come on, good seeker. Oh, backpack, can't forget that. Everything's gonna be really stinky. Yeah. Basketball. Oh, great. Dab up here on the raft. Woohoo! Yeah, and my shoes. Now you'll know which things are mine just by smelling. Oh. doesn't scare the skunk. Don't get scared, Stinker. Oh. Mm, at least Stinker didn't get scared, but I knew I should have put my bowl of spaghetti back in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like a come here smell to me. Yep, we were right. Well, that's one of the great things about Animal Junction. There's always a creature cleaner upper around. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come here, I need a lot of help cleaning up. <laughs> <laughs> he likes spaghetti. Good job, Watson. Hey, Watson's on to another smell. Oh, let me see, let me see. <laughs> what smell do you smell, Watson? Hey, do you smell something too, Stinker? What is it? Well, let me see, let me see. Hey, Chris, Martin, there's something else here. <laughs> 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 But hey, ah! how come she sprayed us? <laughs> Sorry, Zob, we forgot to tell you about rule number two. Don't get too close to a skunk's babies. She'll want to protect them. Skunk babies? Well, that's why the smell was in Animal Junction before Stinker. Her babies were here the whole time. Wow, skunk babies. Oh, too close. These skunk babies look like they're about two weeks old. Their eyes are still closed, and skunks are even born stinky. Hey, they're starting to get on their feet. Look at them go. Pretty soon, they'll be following their mom in a nice little line. Well, this is better, huh? <laughs> For you, maybe. <laughs> what? Sabu, all I can smell is skunk. Yeah, <laughs> and I smell just like them now. <laughs> I'm stinky. I'm skunky. I'm even black and white. I'm feeling skunkish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel skunkish. How about you? Skunkish. Feeling skunkish. Skunkish. I'm a cool little stinker and my stink smells good. Skunkish. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Zabu, this time you really are skunkish. Hmm. He stinks. Yeah, and we have to do something about this stinky situation. We must find an antidote. Okay, Stinker, get ready for a Crack Brother invention. Ah, one beaker extract of sweetness. Guess that's good to guess. Ah, flowers. Ah, smell them, yes. <laughs> Special crack powder. Very good. <laughs> yeah. so. okay, guys, are, are, are you sure that's gonna get rid of my stink? You know, Stinker, sometimes these Crack Brothers are really silly. Oh, it's much closer now. <laughs> Copper electro-induced honeydew. Don't put too much. Careful. Oh, now, now, for smoothing, we have the milk. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. It's ready. <laughs> well, it looks, um, awfully, uh, uh, awfully, uh, awful. Yes! We did it! The skunk stink antidote! <laughs> right. Let's get Zabu. Come on, Zab, you ready? Um, are you sure it's gonna get rid of my uh, stink? I mean, oh, Zab, looks... this is gonna make you smell so good like you've never smelled before. Well, it looks You're awfully, gonna... awfully, um, awful. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay, ready? Ready, uh, Zab? One, two, In three. you go! <gasps> It's okay. Sabu? Sabu! <laughs> it's okay! <laughs> you smell great! <laughs> I don't stink like a skunk anymore! <laughs> I stink like a lemur. <laughs> but I kind of like the skunk smell. Yeah, a skunk stink is a good stink. <laughs> I'm kind of getting used to it too. It's a good thing, because those skunks will be here for another five weeks. Yeah, and then they'll leave the nest, follow their mom, and wander off behind her. Hey, somebody's dying, bombing in. Duck! Welcome back. <laughs> it's Stinky Feet. Get it? Stinky Feet. <laughs> <laughs> Not Stinky Feet, Stinky Feet, the Peregrine Falcon. Hey, the Sticky Feet scent mark? Well, he doesn't scent mark, Zob. Birds mainly use sounds to talk to each other. And let's see what Jackie's talking about. Oh, yeah. Just five minutes ago, we were playing ball when Watson ran up to us. Boy, did he stink. Hey, you, does that dog stink? I could tell Watson had been sprayed by a skunk. We had to do something. Come on. We had to give Watson a bath, and fast. So we got lots of tomato juice to give him a bath. But Watson had other ideas. <laughs> Watson? <laughs> Watson, come back! Good boy. The tomato juice took most of the skunk smell out of Watson's fur. You smell much better now, Watson. I bet you he never goes near a skunk again. No, I bet you won't. Way to go, Jackie. Tomato juice is a great way to get rid of skunk smell. And now Watson understands all about the skunk's smelly language. And so do I. <laughs> hey, speaking of smelly languages, let's go find some real stinkers. To the closet. I think they're going on a trip now. They're going on a trip. Mm, they are. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. To the they're closet! Going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> oh. Great! The stinkometer. It can help us find any animal by his or her smell. Let's go find the stinkiest animals we can find. Are you coming? All right. They're going on a cool adventure no, and they don't, don't know, know what's in store. store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Okay. The stinkometer is gonna help us find some stinky creatures. Does it smell anything yet? I don't think so. Whoa, hold on! It senses something from behind those roots. Let's check it out. A vinegaroon! A vinegaroon looks a lot like a scorpion, but they don't sting. See that long tail? That tail is used to spread. Woo! <laughs> now that's stinky! That's because we just got sprayed by a vinegaroon. 
When a vinegaroon's surprised, he sprays, kind of like a skunk, and his spray smells like vinegar. That's how he got his name, Vinegaroon. And now we smell like vinegaroons too. Let's go find some more stinky creatures, come on. The stinkometer's going berserk. There must be another stinky creature around. Watson, three o'clock. Watsons are super stinkers. They're even called stink birds. That's because her nest and body smell like cow poop. She eats so many leaves that sit in her belly for so long that she starts to stink. What a cool bird. And you know, after hanging out with the Watsons, I think we're starting to smell a little Watson-ish. Yeah, now we smell like vinegaroons and Watsons. Howler monkeys overhead! <laughs> Howler monkeys are big, and they've got big voices, too. These guys are loud! No kidding! They don't call them howler monkeys for nothing. Every morning, they all howl to let each other know where they are. But most of the time, howler monkeys are pretty quiet, just eating and sleeping. What's going on? Howler monkeys don't stink! Whoa, but they're poop dogs! Poop bombs! Look out! Look out, Martin, he's taking aim! Whoa! You know? <laughs> The funny thing about monkeys is, is that some monkeys actually like pooping on people who walk underneath them. <laughs> that was close. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that we're soaked. Well, at least we don't smell like a vinegaroon, a Watson, and a howler monkey anymore. <laughs> yeah, that crap bowl really cleaned us off. <laughs> the stinkometer. You know where it's pointing? Yeah, straight to Animal Junction. Come on. I What's really it picking up? I don't uh, get it. I like it. I like it's going berserk. The stinkle meter's overheating. There must be something really stinky going on in there. Do you want to find out what? All right, let's go. <laughs> stinky! If you're a stinky creature, come on in. A fisher. Fisher? Ferrets. Ferrets. Mink. Mink. And Stinker the Skunk. All members of the Mustelid family. Mustelids? Mustelids, I love mustelids. <laughs> mustelids are my favorite animal. <laughs> What's a mustelid? Mustelids are carnivorous weasel-like creatures, and they're all stinkers. A fisher is one of the larger mustelids, a good climber and a good swimmer. Let's meet the others. Come on. <laughs> Meeting mustelids. <laughs> hey guys, come here, look. Ah, the ferrets. Ferrets are long, thin, slinky little weasels and a ferret's body is designed for going through holes and getting into tight places. Whoa! In some ways, ferrets remind me of a furry little snake. Hey, he's sniffing me. Hey. You gonna climb on? That slinky one likes the snack machine, like me. <laughs> they're not only slinky, they're stinky. Hey, another mustelid. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Don't go to sleep. I'm not your mom. Hey, Chris, Martin, look at these Mungatsika creatures. Oh, yeah. Baby mink. Oh, wow. Mink are an all-around mustelid. They're great on the land and in the water. These mink are only about seven weeks old, so they don't know how to swim yet. They may be too young to swim, but they're old enough to stink. <laughs> pee you. Uh... All of these stinky mustelids remind me of someone in Zabu land. Oh. <sighs> I was sleep sleeping along. Sleep, 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 <laughs> sleep, sleep, <laughs> sleep. <laughs> when baby Zabumafuasaurus came up to me. <laughs> hey, Zabu! How are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm fine, baby, but um. What? <laughs> what? what? What's the matter? Well, it's your breath. It huh? smells kind of stinky. Oh. Oh, have you been eating Zika stink cheese? I have, Zabu. I guess that's why my breath is stinky. Hey, Zabu, uh, what are you? Uh, hi, Bugly. I can't dig this stinky smell. Let's get out of here. Good Whoa. idea. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> I better do something about my breath. Well, I can still smell that stink. Let's go Whoa. high in the sky where it smells nice. So we flew high in the fresh air around Mama Zabumafusaurus. Hey, everybody! I ate some zoot fruit. I think my breath smells much better. 
Oh, good boy. And it was true. Baby's stinky breath was gone. In fact, his breath smelled really good. The end. Baby's breath stunk sweet. Definitely an I like you smell. <laughs> I had such a stinky time today. It was great. And I loved it when you guys de-stinked me. <laughs> I liked when we found all those stinkers with the stinkometer. And those little baby skunks. What incredible creatures. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his climbing behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say. Go make an animal friend today. Yeah. Bye, all you stinky mustelids. Bye, stinker and little stinkers. Bye, brothers. Bye, Zob. Well, we smelled a lot of smells and met a lot of stinkers today. What do you say we get some fresh air? Windsurfing? Windsurfing! See you later. My name is Nigel and my rat's name is AJ.